Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Ashley and I are out here in California, actually in Palm Springs. The room has a pretty good view. 50 degrees and gale force winds out there. But we're out in California. It's actually the first time I've taken Ashley on a trip with me. This video, I guess, was sponsored by Honda. Honda reached out and said, hey, would you and Ashley be interested in ripping around in some of our Honda talons out at King of the Hammers? And I said, yeah, actually. Actually, what you don't know is every time we go out on a little weekender lander adventure, anytime there's a little bump, Ashley's like, jump it! Jump it, jump it! <laughs> and I'm like, Ashley, this vehicle isn't built for jumping. So she has the go fast bug in her. So I was like, you know what? Let's go get some hands on with these side by sides and have some fun. So that's what we're doing out here. Ashley's dad actually has some side by sides and she loves riding around in them. So I think she's been trying to convince me to get one for a while. I have. But we're gonna go have some fun. Follow us along. self-adjusting electronic suspension. So when you get on the gas, all the inertia goes to the back of the vehicle. The system we developed with Fox and Bosch together. Uh, is a so we're here, we just got our safety briefing and kind of got the vehicles explained to us. So we're gonna choose from some of these here uh, and we'll be able to test out the four seaters and the two seaters and the R's and the X's and the Fox live valves. So hopefully we have some time to ride around in all of them, but I'll kind of give you guys some feedback after. I'm gonna try and steal some GoPro mounts and we'll see if I can. So we're here about to drive. Here's the rest of everyone getting in line. I got a GoPro on my helmet. I just kind of jerry-rigged up. We'll see if it works. Everyone else has like they, they planned way better and have their own GoPro mounts. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay.
we're back from the ride. Ashley loved it. Actually, actually loves to go fast. She doesn't like to drive though. So we got to work on that. Mm. We got to work on your driving. She, her dad has a side by side with some acreage and she like launched it, like went too fast and jumped it and like almost hit his truck. And then since then she like doesn't want to drive. <laughs> so we'll have to break that fear. It was a lot of fun. Uh, naturally aspirated 999 cc but they're quick they're fast and the thing about these kind of things is they just handle bumps and the terrain like so much better than like my Tacoma for instance because they're light vehicles with a ton of suspension travel so they just soak up the bumps I get you you'd be hard-pressed to bottom these things out um, so when I take my Tacoma out Ashley's always like, jump it, jump it, go faster. I'm like, this thing will break if I do. But those kind of things, the side-by-sides, you could just rip them around all day. Anyway, we're here. Um, again, Honda brought us out. Both of us, which is cool because they're trying to show the fun that you can have together. Because Honda, you probably know, has been, you know, they're big in motorcycles. They want to show the advantage of having something with two or four seats is a lot of fun. Um, and it is. He's tuning this two-stroke over here. And now I like, to, I like to try and spend a lot of my free time with Ashley. So having stuff like this, obviously when I go overlanding and whatnot, we can go together. But having another activity, and Ashley's dad actually has a couple of these things and he's been trying to get us in them like to get our own for a long time so probably have to have a talk with Ashley and see see what we're gonna do see what we're gonna do yeah see what we're gonna do yeah. all right my arm's getting sore so the setup on this is he's showing the four-wheel drive system so these things have a rear locker and a front limited slip so this is in two-wheel drive right now and you can see both these tires are just spinning and then now we're in four. It crawls right up, right up that. You can see there's wheels on both sides. So that all three wheels are spinning and the only wheel with traction is that one. But it can still pull it right up this 45 degree incline. Pretty awesome. So the front is just a limited slip, but through brake actuation, it essentially turns it into kind of like a locker. That one will spin a little bit, realizes it doesn't have traction, and then it'll go right up. Beautiful. All right, we're back home now. Thank you again to Honda for sponsoring this video and flying Ashley and myself out to California to ride around on the talents. Life is better side by side as Honda puts it, but it really is. So it was a great time. Had a good opportunity to learn, really kind of pick the brains of the guys there to learn about the vehicles and learn all about the DCT dual clutch transmission, which I've had on a couple of vehicles, which is really great. It's unique to the talons, so there's no belts to break or anything like that. And those even have paddle shifters if you want a little more control, but they are also automatic. So very, very, very easy for somebody with no experience kind of in this world to hop right in and drive around and have a lot of fun. So that's nice. but paddle shifters if you really want a little more control. Also, Fox Live Valve is available, which without getting too deep is basically like automatically adjusting shocks to kind of adapt to the terrain and how you're riding and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Again, I'm not even gonna try to explain it all, but it was explained to us. Very cool stuff. And then there's the 1000X and the 1000R. The main difference between those two is the suspension travel. Uh, the R has more suspension travel uh, and also has a little bit of a longer wheelbase and it's a little bit of a wider. So it has a little bit of a wider stance as well. And then the four seaters, which are all 1000Xs, have obviously 
for seats. But the cool thing about these ones is the back seats, they call them stadium seating, I think. So they're a little taller and a little closer together. So it allows the back seat passengers to kind of see out the front a little better and kind of you know, see what's going on. So they're not kind of like tucked back in there behind the drivers or anything like that. But overall, it was a lot of fun. I don't have a whole lot of experience with side-by-sides. If you do, if you love them, comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know kind of how you use them and, and what makes them fun for you or your family. I've always kind of been interested in them, but never owned them myself. So I've kind of driven some friends around and stuff and they're always fun, but I kind of am looking for the practical applications that I could use outside of fun to kind of justify it. And you know, they can help you get to some more remote trails and some tighter stuff to some fishing spots or some hunting spots or some camping spots or, or things like that. So there's obviously a lot of practical real world uses for them outside of fun, which I think is probably the main use, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about side-by-sides in general, um, both as the vehicle as well as kind of the culture, maybe, because I don't know a whole lot about it. So chime in down below, let me know. But it was a lot of fun. Ashley loved it, had a great time. Ashley really likes when I get into hobbies and activities that we can do together versus solo. So like motorcycle versus this actually would be all about the side by sides. So very cool. And we had a great time together. Ohana does have like demo rides available at various events. So you can check their website uh, for that kind of stuff and also check their website for, for nearby dealership locations to you. But man, if you've never ridden in some, they are a blast. It's hard to it's hard to say how fun they are because I've ridden motorcycles and all this stuff, but they're just something more fun about them. They're much more fun to drive around than any of the off-road vehicles I've ever owned. So really, you, something you should probably experience yourself at some point. And again, really curious about all your thoughts about both the Talons, side-by-sides in general, if you like them, if you hate them, whatever. Let me know down below. Again, thank you to Honda for having us out. And until next time, guys, take care.